What's up, boxing fans? This is TBE Boxing back at you again. Today's topic Question Did the referee save Errol Spence in the Ugas fight? Answer Yes, he did. Sort of, in a way. Let's chop it up and see what it's all about. On a block with the pole, huh? That's lucky like for riches, huh? That's lucky like for riches, huh? Pretty rich, show me tits, huh? And I got the glitz, you run up on me, I'ma make you get it. I'ma make you get it. Okay, boxing fans, let's talk about this uh, aftermath of this Spence Ugas fight. So, uh, as you know, uh, Spence and Ugas fought for the uh, unified uh, belt, uh, the third belt in the. Uh, in the fourth bell uh campaign in the four bell campaign so at uh, the four bell era actually the five bell era if you count the double b uh the ibo so uh ever spent defeated ugas in that fight but not without some controversy you know uh, uh involving the referee to be uh specific so let's get into it okay so we're going to talk about that because i've been getting a lot of uh comments about this you know my video i did previously to this about you know uh what else spent saved by the referee and that kind of asked the question you know but now i'm giving the answer okay so uh several people you know commented on that video i did and you know a lot of people were saying that uh the referee uh, told Errol the ref, they, they were saying that the reason why. All right, so let's 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 frame the the, the the argument, okay? Let's get into it. So what happened was that in the uh, in one of the rounds, I believe it was the sixth rounds. Uh, Errol spent the sixth round. Yeah, I believe it was the sixth round. Errol Spence's mouthpiece got knocked out by Ugas. Okay, so uh, when he knocked the mouthpiece out. Uh, it was a pretty good shot, and it hurt Spence when he knocked that mouthpiece out. So the, the mouthpiece went out, it flew out of Spence's mouth. Spence immediately stopped and tried, you know, kind of stop. Well, he didn't stop. He just started. He just turned around away from Ugas and started looking for the mouthpiece. And Ugas hit him again, right? Because he was he was looking for the mouthpiece. So when Ugas, when Ugas hit him again, he went flying up against the ropes, right? So I'm guessing that they said the referee said stop. So there's somewhere in there the referee said stop while that was going on. I, I am assuming, uh, according to what they are saying. I, I have actually watched that video back again in slow motion. But let's, you know, many people said it. So let's, you know, I'm pretty sure it's accurate. Right. So the referee said stop if that's the case. Now, Ugas, after he knocked Spence and, and Spence fell against the ropes, who got hesitated right there? Now, I don't know if it's because the referee said stop or because he just hesitated or what. Okay, but he hesitated right there. Okay, after he punched, after he punched Spence with a good right hand. As a matter of fact, you're seeing the punch right now on the on your screen. That's the punch. Okay, you see, look at Spence's face. Okay, you can see that 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 it was a good punch. It caught Spence kind of off guard, and uh, you can see uh, the effect of the punch right there. So Spence went flying against the ropes. So instead of Ugas following right behind him and hit him again, he hesitated or he stopped. So people are saying he stopped because the referee said stop. Now, uh, my contention is that at that point of the fight, Ugas should have not shouldn't have stopped. Okay? He should have kept on uh going forward and you know continued to uh deliver more punches to Spence. And the, if the truth be known, this is actually what cost Ugas that fight because he could have stopped, he could have won the fight right there and then, but he didn't do that. He he stopped for whatever reason. He hesitated and he didn't, you know, uh, do what he was supposed to do. Now this is why, you know, my my uh, my title is that, you know, the question is, did the referee save Spence in, in this fight? And my answer was that. He did sort of in kind of a way. And the reason I'm saying that is because he did sort of in kind of a way. Because in reality, Ugas didn't have to stop. Okay? He could have kept going. Whether the referee said, you know, he could have kept going because 
it was in the thick of the action. So it was really Ugas, really not, you know, I mean, the referee had something to do with it. He had a part to play in it, you know, by telling Ugas to stop. If he did say that, I'm not sure. But if he, as many people are saying, he did say that. If he did say that, okay, uh, then uh, he's partially responsible. And then, you know, Ugas is the ultimate, has the ultimate responsibility because he's the one that's actually in there fighting. Okay. So in that, that's why I said sort of, because at the end of the day, the responsibility falls on Ugas in, you know, the ultimate responsibility. Okay. So that's, you know, so I'm, I'm just, you know, keeping it 100. So, all right. So the, the question is what really happened there? Okay. Did the referee say stop? Uh, was he, should he have said stop? Was he trying to, you know, uh, what was going on in that little situation right there? And so it, it seems to me that a lot of people are not really cognizant. I don't really know what the rules are when it comes to things like this in boxing. And so they're just saying things they want to say. For example, somebody said that I was making a silly statement because, you know, you're, you're, the, the mouthpiece slip out of your mouth and you can't, uh, you know, you're not supposed to fight without the mouthpiece, uh, you know, something like that. But that's not really the case. Okay. Yes. It, when you start a fight, you're not supposed to you know, fight without the mouthpiece. But... You know there's some gray area there so we're going to address that in a few you know we're going to look at that okay we're going to go to the to the receipts because i like to bring receipts so there's a lot of controversy as far as i'm concerned about what the referee did and i i you know me personally i'm thinking that he was trying to interfere in the fight because he saw that uh spence was hurt i mean i could be wrong but uh you know i think my argument when i'm done is going to bear out what i'm saying okay now now, all right, so let's, before we even, uh, you know, I, I basically laid out what I, you know, what happened, okay? And we all saw that. And anybody that saw the fight, they saw what happened, okay? So let's now go to the rules of boxing, you know, you know because we're going to find out what the referee did. So we're going to go to the unified rules of boxing to see actually what did the referee actually do and was he right in doing it? So let's go to the receipts right now. Okay, so here, here you're looking at the uh, unified rules of boxing, okay? And, and here at number six, we have uh, the, the part about the mouthpiece, okay? So let's read it. All professional boxers are required to wear a mouthpiece during competition. The round cannot begin without the mouthpiece. If the mouth, and this is where we get the important part comes in. If the mouthpiece is dislodged, that means it's knocked out of his mouth, during competition, the referee, the referee will call time and have the mouthpiece replaced. And this is where the real important part comes. The referee will call time and have the mouthpiece replaced at the first opportune moment. Okay? That's very important right there. It says, at the first opportune moment that means that at the first opportunity at the first chance okay but it has to be opportune okay so here and then it says it goes on it goes on to say without interfering with the immediate action and this is where the important part comes in and this is where this controversy comes in so and it also says here you know which Probably have nothing to do with uh, what Spence Ugas. I don't know if he's actually spit it out. I, 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 I'm not accusing him of that. But it says here, points may be deducted by the referee if, if he feels the mouthpiece is being purposely spit out. So, you know, because some fighters spit the mouthpiece out so they can stop the action, so they can, you know, if they want to get rest or whatever that happens in some fights. But here, you know, we are seeing here, we says the, the important clause here in this rule is that the referee can stop the fight but he has to do it at an opportune moment without interfering with the media action. So let's go back to the Ugas fight now and, 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 and analyze it with this in mind. So when Ugas hit Spence, his mouthpiece fell out. And then, you know, Ugas hit Spence again. That was in the, in the, that's in the action. The action is ongoing, right? So once Spence, once Ugas hit him with him, hit him in his, in a, you know, knocked the mouthpiece out. Spence started looking for the mouthpiece. Ugas hit him again with the right hand. He fell against the ropes. Ugas 
could have followed him over against the rope and continued to uh deliver punches okay because he was as he was falling when who has hit him who guys should have followed up okay and you know he should have followed up in me after he threw the right hand he should have followed up with a you know go after the guy spence started falling back i thought he was gonna fall but the ropes kept him up so ugas was supposed to run right behind him like what uh uh crawford did to uh book in the book fight when he you know when book fell against the ropes he, he knocked him across the ring with that right hand and, and, and crawford immediately ran across the ring followed him and went after him immediately you see this is how this is what ugas was supposed to do and this is the difference between ugas and crawford and and and, and not just ugas and crawford but you know it, you have to be in the moment in a fight you know it's very difficult but you know you need to be in the moment at all times and know what is going on in the ring at all times so anyway uh so when ugas hit spence with that right hand and spence went flying against the roof ugas was supposed to follow him but ugas hesitated now this is why i say ugas is ultimately responsible because by him doing that by ugas hesitating at that second at that moment right there he gave the referee the opportune moment okay because he there was a lull in the action at that point when ugas stopped and now the referee could interfere and he did okay he did that and this is what happened now the reason why i said the referee was partially responsible is that he he said stop and if he did say stop he said it before that moment when ugas uh you know uh was a lull he he was he said it before that okay Wh which he shouldn't have said it okay he should have waited until there was an opportune moment okay he shouldn't have told ugas to stop so if ugas stopped because the referee told him to stop okay then the referee was responsible for that and the rest of the referee should not have told him to stop because that's not his he's not supposed to do that he's supposed to wait for the opportune moment and without interfering with the immediate action and replace the mouthpiece get spence to replace the mouthpiece take him to the corner whatever he needed to do put it in his mouth whatever okay so this is what we are looking at okay so in the first place uga shouldn't have stopped he should have kept going if he did stop because he heard the referee say, I he thought the referee was indicating for him to stop because the referee kept circling around him, look, you know, like he was trying to, you know. So if 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 that was the case, that was wrong by the referee because that was interfering in the immediate action. Okay, this is clear. Watch the videotape again. Okay, if he was trying to stop the fight before Ugas hesitated, but after Ugas hesitated, then the referee, you know, was a hundred percent uh correct in making the effort to replace the mouthpiece but again we have we can't you know illustrate enough if uga stopped because the referee said stop then that was an illegal stop that stop that stop it shouldn't have happened uga shouldn't have stopped and he didn't have to listen to the referee he should have kept on going and let the referee physically try to stop him okay so this is the you know the breakdown of that situation there and i think it's you know I just broke it down. It should be clear to everyone, okay? Uh, should be no, no dispute. We have the rules right here in front of us. We all saw what happened. And so, my, you know, I think that, you know, I'm correct in stating the fact that, uh, the, you know, uh, in the title that uh, the referee did save Spence, uh, sort of, in a kind of a way. But at the end of the day, the response the ultimate responsibility lies with ugas and he didn't you know i don't think he made the correct decision when he stopped uh he, when he hesitated and, and he didn't go after spence when he had spence hurt and that ultimately cost him the fight okay so i'm pretty sure if ugas watched this fight over and over again he's probably kicking himself right now because he made a huge mistake uh he could be you know uh fighting uh for the uh undisputed now against Crawford instead of Spence but you know he blew it basically I mean you know, but hey we can't be too hard on the guy I mean it was, it was a big fight you know the biggest fight of his career okay he went in there he did okay he did pretty good uh okay he conducted himself you know honorably uh to a certain degree and so you know we can't really criticize him for that you know sometimes you win sometimes you lose that's the way the ball bounces but again I think my point is made okay and with that said, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the, uh, the channel, okay? Uh, go to tbeboxing.com, uh, tbeboxing.com. Check out the latest news, headlines, and analysis. 
uh, from me, TBE. So with that said, people, let's leave it there. I'll see you on the next one. This is TBE Boxing saying, I'm out, baby. On the block with the pole, huh? That's just the life that I chose, huh? On the block with the pole, huh? That's lucky for riches, huh? That's lucky for riches, huh? Pretty bitch show me tits, huh? And I got the glitzy, run up on me, I'ma make you get it. I'ma make you get it.